What is up you guys? It is Kami Way and welcome back to my channel or if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Kami Way and I have a special guest here, the one and only Mom UA here with us. Gracie Jafaris with her presence. We are so happy to have you here on our channel. My very first guest. How does it feel to just... It feels fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this here is my mom, of course. She is... And my dog. Yes, and of course we had to have Miss Kitty here okay. as well. Um, and we brought my mom here to glam her up today. We thought it'd be perfect for a Mother's Day weekend to give our moms a little bit of glam. And so we created this beautiful sort of berry kind of it's moment, so little look going on <laughs> for today. Throughout this video as well, I asked you guys on my Instagram a while back to send in some questions and we have answered some. Ooh. We got into some tea, Very some deep, deep stuff. So be sure that you stay tuned within the video while we answer some questions. And yeah, if you guys want to see me glam my mom for a Mother's Day, then be sure to just keep on. And next thing you know, it was like a little bit of mascara. I was like, oh, okay, we're getting a little bit more into that. <laughs> okay, you go, get your game on. And then, um, and then before you know it, eyeshadow started coming on, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Because yeah. I remember around like my like end of sophomore, like I started like, I because I remember the first thing I like dabbled into like actual makeup was like foundation and stuff. I remember I like mm -hmm. just did like skin. Mm -hmm. um, I remember I walked around school with like oxidized makeup on and I thought it looked so good, but like... <laughs> were you stealing my makeup back then? Not stealing, but borrowing? Of course I was. No, because I didn't think you had a supply back then. Well, I didn't, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm back then, I probably had a limited supply. I'm just setting the concealer now with my Dermablend powder on a Morphe E46 brush, prepping the lid area for our eyeshadow. So that is one full brow all complete on Miss Mother. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one really quickly off camera and we will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so now we're gonna start on the eyes now that we have the brows on. And for the eyes to start, I wanna start off with a nice fresh base so that all the other shadows blend together nicely. So we're gonna go into the, wait for it to focus. Okay, there we go. The KKW X Mario Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to be dipping specifically into this bottom shade right here, which is called... Oh, shoot. What shade is this? <laughs> Decade. Decade. This bone white shade. And I'm going to take that on a synthetic haired flat Morphe brush like this, and I'm just going to be placing it on the brow bone and placing it all over the lid as well, just to give us a nice base so that all of the other shadows we are working with will blend together nice and even. Alright, so now that that base shade is laid on, I'm going to be going in with the Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to be taking the shade Buon Fresco on an Inspire 282 Eye Fluff brush, and we're going to be placing that into the crease. Plenty of crease there. <laughs> so, <laughs> since she admits to having a little bit more than the average amount of skin on the eye, really important that when you are placing the shadow in the crease with someone like her with this creasage. We need to make older sure that people, is that what you're saying? Older moms? Older people? For mature skin. Mature skin. That's what I have. Mature Always skin. raise the brow so that no, you don't have to raise. I'm talking about me raising. Yeah, but I can raise No, that don't. Because then that's how you get wrinkles on the forehead. Well, it's already there. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to raise her brows so that it opens. Do not raise her <laughs> It's automatic. Don't raise her brows. Okay. I'm gonna raise her brows <laughs> brown. so that it opens up that area, and we're gonna be placing one fresco right there. Okay, so while we're blending away the eyeshadow, um, we do have another question. It is from X dot Taylor Caitlin. Hey Taylor, and she asks, "What's one? What is this? What's one huge thing Calm does that annoys you?" <laughs> Just one? <laughs> Holy, that's awful. Jeez! Laundry list. 
No. <laughs> One thing that he does that annoys me, other than that tongue pop thing all the time, <laughs> upper lunch. <laughs> so can't do it. <laughs> That's a, that can get a little annoying, I gotta say. Um, you know, he's always, he was at a young age, he would start kind of critiquing what I was wearing. Like I'd come downstairs for work and he'd give me that look like, what? <laughs> you know, you've got to be kidding me. So then I'd have to go back upstairs and change something um, until I would come downstairs and not get the look because the look made you feel like, mm, mm -mm, I need to do something here. So you don't do it as much anymore. Maybe it's because my dress style has improved. Yeah. But he's a little judgy. <laughs> I'm not judgy. When it comes to... It's just... I want to make sure that people are always looking their best. Mm. Okay, and I'm going to not let someone like you walk out the door mm. knowing that you could have looked better. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you see what I mean, Taylor? <laughs> All right, so now that we have the first shade laid on the crease, I'm going to deepen it just a little bit with something a little bit more rosy, if you will. So I'm going to be going in with a love letter from the Modern Renaissance palette on this Morphe Tapered Synthetic Haired Brush and placing that in the crease as well, just a little bit tighter and a little bit lower. What's that technique you use? What do you use? Like swipe and swish or swirl or something? <laughs> so this, these, this right here is circular motions. Mm -hmm. And then this is our windshield wiper motions. Windshield wipers, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we have the crease laid on, it's time to pop just a little bit of shimmer on the lid. So for this look today, I'm going to be going in with this guy right here. This is about to be focused. There we go. This is the Stila um, Shimmer and Glow Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten right there. And I'm going to take it just on a... <laughs> it's <laughs> cute. Take I it like it. On a really Pretty. small oval shaped lip brush and just placing this on the lid. How many people think think it's weird that we named our dog Kitty? Um, it's weird for some reason. I don't think people are phased by it. Like, I don't think like they're just like, oh, you know, like it's called our dog Kitty. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think people like question it. I, I think it just fits. Like, if she had a stupid, boring name, it would be, she wouldn't be as you know hip. <laughs> <laughs> We named her that so that when we open the door for her to come inside, we could say, here, kitty, 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 and a dog would come running. <laughs> that was so funny. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of warmth to the um, outer crease. So I'm just going to go in with Burnt Orange in the Modern Renaissance palette on a Sigma F63 brush. And I'm just going to be placing that on the very, very outer edges of the crease. This is going to help all the shadows um, just blend together nicely and blend out any harsh edges we might have. All right, so that is one eye all complete. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one quickly off of camera and then we will be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gotta make sure, why you always look at me? You look at the camera. Because you're a person. <laughs> I don't wanna ignore you. Hi peeps, I know people do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start on the skin now and for primer today I'm gonna be using the Lancome La Base Coral Primer, a very bougie primer. Bougie? Is that the word of the day? Bougie mom. Bougie. This is this is a bougie primer. Bougie, bougie, bougie. Oh. bougie. So I'm just placing this in the T-zone area and around the cheeks as well. Alrighty, for foundation today, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. It's going to be these guys right here. This is the Lancome Tit Idol 24-Hour Wear and, of course, the MAC Studio Fix. We're mixing these because this one's too light for her and this one's too dark for her. And together, they make the perfect team. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Destiny asked how I Destiny, came... Destiny, I like that name. Destiny okay. asked how I came out to you. How you came out to me? <laughs> Can I answer that? No, no. I would answer. <laughs> you answer it your way, so, and then I'll answer. Okay, so pretty much, <laughs> it wasn't the most like conventional way, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> so pretty much, I came out to my mom by <laughs> her just asking me, <laughs> um, and pretty much just like calling me out on my shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. And she was, she was like, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, in that moment, I was like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much like the whole. That's pretty much how it how it happened. Okay. Do you want my version? That was. I think they want my version. <laughs> it, how is that we different? knew. We knew you were. Oh, that's another question. Yeah, that's yeah. another that's question. Like, when did you? We know? always. I mean, we always knew at a young age, like in elementary school. You don't remember? I mean, I'm sure, but yeah. So. We oh we always had a feeling, you know, um, and and we were always fine. We were like, okay, this is just Comron, you know. Um, always very, you know, out in the open. You never really tried to hide anything. You were just mm-hmm. you, and so we we always kind of knew, like you know. <laughs> we're in, I'm gonna just go. Your favorite shirt was this big pink shirt that said "Real Men Wear Pink." That was super <laughs> it was great. I, I love that shirt. Um, and then you know, he was just he always had a ton of gal friends. Yeah, and like I, I remember when I was younger, like when we went when uh, when we would go to McDonald's, I would always ask for the girl toy. Yep. Because the, whatever the True. boy toy was at the time, I thought it was so stupid. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to collect all of my little, um, or sorry, my, uh, what are they? A Littlest Pet Shop. Oh yeah. my god, Littlest Pet Shop was my shit. Yeah. <laughs> He'd like to go in my closet and mess with my shoes, things like that. <laughs> and so dad and I always knew, and I kept waiting for him to tell me. And so one day, it was just he and I were home. Because, I mean, everybody knew. I mean, we all knew. And, um. He wasn't saying anything, and it got really frustrating because I was like, if he would just say it out loud, then he could feel like he can do anything and everything he wants to without feeling that he well, has to Well, yeah, it's anything. like you, you were like, you and I were like the last ones to know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Everybody knew, and he wasn't telling us anything. <laughs> and I was like, I cannot believe he hasn't sat us down. And this was in high school. Yeah, this was like, um, junior sophomore year high school something like that and you and i were on the couch downstairs watching something and it was pretty quiet and finally i was like you know what (laughs) i'm just gonna turn around and ask him so i just turned to him i said are you gay and he paused for a second he goes yeah i'm like okay and that was that (laughs) (laughs) i just wanted him to have the moment or feel comfortable to tell lies i think that's important um in that way he could get over that hurdle of so I figure I might as well ask him so he can you know not worry about it so yeah kind of always knew and what's funny is like even like Danielle next door <laughs> we would yeah. sit out front and watch you play watch you running she turns she goes he's gay he's like, yeah <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I was like, yes, yeah, that's my boy. Can I do a shout out? A shout out? Oh, she wants a shout out. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Janet, whoever Janet is. Janet is my assistant down in... Oh, excuse and me. And she watches. Oh, she needs to say hi yeah. to her Yeah, hi, Janet Hernandez from Long Beach. Alrighty, so now the foundation is on, it's time to move into concealer. I'm going to be using my favorite concealer. I'm pretty sure I got you from this concealer. Yes, you did. Yeah. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm going to be... <laughs> Kitty. <laughs> and I'm going to be placing this on the higher points of her face and underneath the eyes to brighten and conceal. And by the way, this is her, so that's why I'm using the applicator. This is the final look. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Be sure lovely. to subscribe, and we hope to catch you guys in the next mm, one. Skill, that's Bye. skill right there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know that he was a drummer. <sighs> Just keep blending. I'm talking. Oh, I'm boy. talking to your peeps. Oh, <laughs> um, I was a band geek. Well, with fashion flair. <laughs> <laughs> um, we knew from a young age that Cameron was special. <laughs> and um we you know we he tried every sport imaginable so anyways we were trying all these sports because we thought if you just find something you know we want to make sure he had something he liked to do and all of it was kind of like not a passion and then we got him into 
art. So he started doing oil painting and that, he loved that. In fact, the stairwell is full of his artwork. Um, and then I noticed at a young age that he was ambidextrous and used both hands. You know, so he'd like write with his right, but throw balls with his left, different things like that. And he had a natural um, sense of rhythm, you know, which I thought was amazing. He put on music and he totally got the rhythm of it. So then I thought, okay, he's ambide ambidextrous and likes music, has a good sense of rhythm. So that's when we introduced him to drumming. And boy, that took off. Yeah, it was funny because I um, didn't want to join band and my mom pretty much like made me join band in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. I was like, you're joining. And I told you just do drums for one year and see if you like it. Yeah. And he was so good at it that he did all the way through high school. In the senior year, he was drumline captain. I mean, boy's talented oh. with the hands. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, that's how my drumming career is. And now I teach at Elk Grove High School. Mm -hmm. um, I teach the music department and I teach the drum line with other staff members as well. Um, and yeah. So now foundation, concealer, and powder is on. It's time to move on to bronzer. And for bronzer today, I'm gonna be using the NARS Laguna bronzer, one of my mom's favorites, taking it on a crown C500 brush and warming up those cheekbones. That's another thing that's tripled in size is my brush collection. I didn't realize I had to have so many special brushes to do special things. But once again, if I use the wrong brush, you'd be like, mmm. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> Nina, which is her username with Two N's, three A's, and four H's. Nina. <laughs> <laughs> Nina. <laughs> Nina asks. Okay. She asks, you kind of already answered this a little bit, but she asked, was your mom always fully supportive of your dreams? Well, that's more of a question for you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... um, I mean, yeah. I mean, there was never a time where I felt like I was, I had to compromise what I wanted to do and luckily I had the support, supportive parents that I had that they would let me pursue what I need to pursue. Because let's be honest, doing what I'm doing at my age isn't the most like conventional um, and isn't the most um, common thing. No. Um, so it was definitely a challenge to kind of pursue this like seriously and not just like as a hobby um because that's that that can be a common thing that a lot of people think this is it's like just a hobby but it's really not it's like my full-time job doing makeup um so yes my parents were supportive of me it just kind of took a lot um to prove to them that i was serious about it um but yeah, that's pretty much Okay, uh, now answer. I'm going to answer. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> I'll give an example of how supportive we've been. The, the, the extent most. of the support is, you know, as a mom, you always grow up and think your kid's, your kid's going to go off to college, right? We've always been like, you're going to college, you're going to college, you're going to college. So the older two, been there, done that. The second one's graduating tomorrow. And Comron, who's a very smart kid, when it came time to put out college applications, we sent a lot of them out. And, you know, he got into Cal Poly down south, business school. And so we thought, okay, great. It's <laughs> like, gotta go to college. <laughs> you know? And we noticed the closer and closer, we even put the deposit down in the dorm room, you name it. And closer and closer, we got to him getting ready to go, he didn't seem excited. You know, there wasn't that, oh, I'm gonna get ready to go to college, let me get my dorm stuff, whatever. He was not into it. And so that's when dad and I were like, you know what, he's gonna follow another trail. You know, he's gonna take his own path. So we're like, we just had to swallow what we thought was, okay, well, that was our plan, but that's not his plan. Um, so, but we're glad, you know, we're glad we can support him in what he wants to do. You know, it's his life, not our life, so. But yeah, I would say on the level, like, the fact that I can literally call my mom, like, my manager, <laughs> like, that's pretty 
significant just because like she's like the main one that like makes sure all of like my booking stuff is in line and like all of my expenses and all of like brand deals and stuff like that. Um, Driving to LA at the drop of a hat. Yeah, she's always there <laughs> at the forefront. So she's my momager. Okay, moving on to blush. I'm gonna be using the NARS Orgasm Blush. This is one of my mom. <laughs> what? They really name it that? This is your favorite. You just now. I know, but I didn't know that was the name of it. Oh, uh, okay. It's one of my mom's favorite. They came out with a new one called Super Orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> and, it's it's like, and it's like, it's more just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Alrighty, and for highlight today, I'm gonna... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Ofra. highlighter in the shade Glow Goals. Is it really Ofra? Ofra, yeah. Okay. Watch. <laughs> it just sounds like somebody's mispronouncing Ofra. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and to top off the highlight, I'm gonna go with a little bit more of a mega glow, and we're gonna be going in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Gold Digger. Ooh. And I'm gonna be <laughs> placing that just on the highest, highest points of the cheekbone, just using a little bit. Alrighty, now we're gonna finish up the eyes and we're gonna go back into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna grab shade Love Letter on a Crown C510 brush and I'm just gonna be smudging that on the lower lash line going like up and Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of burnt orange and um, smudge it on the lower lash line as well on a Pinky Rose F22 brush. Alrighty, I'm also gonna take that Ofra highlighter and I'm gonna place a little bit on the inner corners and the brow bone as well. Okay. Question, question, question. Question, question, question. <laughs> okay, so Celeste, you know Celeste from Pinky Rose. Oh, okay. Hi, Celeste. <laughs> so she asks, have you always had this strong, crazy personality since you were little? I want more baby calm info. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> Before she answers the question, <laughs> I want to go in with mascara. <laughs> we're going to be using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara on her. Now can I answer? Yes. <laughs> okay. So when he was little, little, he was shy. Shy, shy, shy. Oh so shy that we put him in the Parks and Rec preschool two mornings a week. We took him and we would just see him standing at the back of the room for days. And the teacher, you know, I'd always ask the teacher, did, did he interact today? And he goes, no, he just kind of stood off the back of the room, didn't do anything. And so by, I think it was like the fourth day he went, the second week, and I went to go pick him up and she came out. The teacher came out by herself. I thought, oh no. She goes, she goes, your son made me cry today. And I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean he made you cry? She goes, yeah. She goes, I saw him. What? Look down. I saw him keep, he kept looking at me. Throughout open. The... Sorry, go ahead. Open, but look down. Open, but look down. Okay. <laughs> <You> <laughs> open, but look down. You're, you're just having Is... your eyes closed. Just look down. I am looking okay, down. Okay, cool. That's what I need. <laughs> uh, so I told her, I said, what did he do? And she said, he kept looking at me all day. I'd catch him looking at me and then he'd look away. And he goes, finally, about halfway through class, he came up and pulled on my dress and just said, spoke to her for the first time and said, I just have to tell you, you look so pretty today. And it was the cutest I said thing. That. Yeah, and she started crying right there in front of me. Because she knew that it was that important to you and you felt that strongly about it that you finally said something. <laughs> the first thing I talked about <laughs> was how she looked. <laughs> and then we're like, oh, we're off to the races. This is going to be interesting. Um, and then he was still pretty shy, you know, going on four or five. So <laughs> we had a strategy. Uh, took him to Disneyland. His sister Tori never shy, always very verbal, walking up to people. You know, she'd always talk to whomever. And we thought, okay, we're gonna break this kid of his shyness. So we got him a lanyard and some pins. And in the park, there's employees that wear a certain color lanyard with pins, and they can only trade pins with kids. And so Tori was off to the races, just you know, trading right away. And Carmen wanted to get in on it. So, and we were like, 
If you want to trade pins, you're going to have to go up to the to the people with the teal lanyard on it and ask them to trade. And within one day of being at Disneyland trading pins, his shyness was gone. He would talk to anybody. He wanted certain pins and he just broke them up. It was the best therapy in terms of getting somebody over their shyness. Um, and then from that moment on, he was unstoppable. Always funny. Always cracking jokes. Dance around the house. Oh my God, he dances around the house. <laughs> so much <laughs> Alrighty, lastly we're gonna be moving in to lips so the first thing we're gonna go in with is this guy right here this is the jeffree star cosmetics lip ammunition in the shade thick as thieves it's just this really deep kind of pretty rosy nude one of my mom's favorites Alrighty, and to top off the list i'm gonna go in with my mom's favorite lip gloss <gasps> love that <laughs> and it's the best this is the herb decay high Fi shine lip gloss in the shade back talk what do you call that a must have or something what do you a ride or die yeah <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, and that is it for today's video of a glamming miss <laughs> mom you a here thank you again for coming on my channel and if you guys like this video and uh, like my mom and want to see my mom more, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And while you're at it, you can hit that little bell button so that you get notified every time. It, it's uh, it's probably going to be right there. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> so that you get notified every time I post a brand new video. If you'd like to keep up to date with all things Kami Away, you can follow me on Instagram, which is at the Kami Away, and my Snapchat at Comrade Fardonish. And if you are next to book an appointment with me and get painted by Kami Away, all of my booking information will be in the description box down below as well. Yeah, um, make sure you guys have an amazing 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 <laughs> nice Make sure you guys have an amazing mother's day and give all the love to your mothers or motherly figures in your life because they surely deserve it and we hope that we will catch you guys so in the next I, video I, I, bye I, 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 I,